Alrighty! I'm back, kids. I'm back, big man. I don't even know if I'm in the mood for this, but I'm doing it anyway because I planned it. So, so you see from the title, Dancer Pet Peeves. There's probably something on me, I can't see. So I asked dancers that I know, friends, and I got a lot of stuff. I should have like made like top 10, but like I'm gonna go through them. But first of all, I'm not in very much in the professional industry of have my own company, dance company, does ads for things, music videos for famous people, you know, I'm not there yet. Manifestation. Oh, this is basically like a mukbang, mukbang, I don't know how you say it. So let's get into it, kids. Dance with a pet peeve! Proceed to dance. Also, this is me. Like, that's gonna be good content. Okay, let's go with a. I think this is not even limited to dancers. This is like every creative. I put, I put this actually on my Instagram. Nobody sees my stories. This is a face of Shadow Bear. Wow! Look here. There's some people I don't follow, okay? If they follow me, I don't follow them. And then they decide via Instagram. I'ma DM this girl and I hanala hi just hello that's in DM request and I don't know what you're gonna what you wanna talk about you just say hi I'm not gonna accept the DM I don't know if this is making sense don't DM with just a hi DM with a hi how are you I'm so and so I would like this not gonna be successful if you just say hi you need to think what if my DM pops up only in the DM request when okay <laughs> this one I think this one is top two and not two. I don't even know what that saying means, but that's oh, I just got it out. It was top two and not two because it's number one. Okay. When artists ask for dancers to dance to their song, but no pay. I might have another bite. Like, first of all, you're trying to make money out of your music right i'm trying to make money out of my dancing how do you expect me to just do it for free but even so there's this there's still this thing for me if your passion is that great you'll do it for free but no when it's your only grind yeah like we are on the same level you're trying to get exposure for your song i'm trying to get exposure for my dancing that's a pet peeve because if you feel like no, then they be like You are a dancer, I don't really know much about dance shmur, shmur, shmur. You gotta pay for the hours I spend on making choreography Filming The hours I spend video editing Unless you can provide the phone crew for me That is also a way you can save a bit of money. What next? Mm. When you book for like a video shoot And there's no organization I've done like a music video but like it wasn't successful that was probably the only video shoot i've ever been to like i said i'm not a professional i'd like to be but like more. anyway my friend masejo i've done a couple of videos with her so she said girl this is music video we learned the choreography that time i didn't have cool gear like i had now do i i feel like i do but anyway so filming day location was whack that environment was very like in terms of videography, floor was dirty, and then the filming was a bit like unprofessional. I don't want my time wasted. A pet peeve when there's no organization. I came all the way here with an Uber, and mommy that dropped me here. You know? So, y'all. Yeah. Next. This one is funny because I actually haven't experienced this, but my one friend, this is what she said. Okay, so when you're either in a dance workshop, dance rehearsal with your crew, dance rehearsal for a music video, Anything where you have to sweat and burn and dance for a couple of hours. When somebody forgot to put on the outfit, <laughs> I've never experienced this. Yo, <laughs> I mean, I feel like this happens not even in a dance year. So I feel like it happens like at sports or something. Jump, you know, somebody just didn't sort themselves out. But maybe it also could be a medical condition. If there are people out there like, oh, no, I feel so awkward because I feel like I just offended people. But like I don't mean to, but... Anyway, next. Oh, she also mentioned when... <laughs> Ooh, when I think about it, it just makes me... Nar. Okay, this happens like you can see it obviously if a trio is dancing, dancing in a crew. When somebody is out... 
when somebody is out of count, out of beat, yo, like you just can see that it just, just like it's just a bitchy up. Yo, that gets me now. So that was three, wasn't it? Next, okay, this one. Who <laughs> dealing with uptight choreographers? When I say choreographers, mm, it sounds so weird, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So dealing with uptight choreographers. Remember my accents changed. I should really be an actor. So for me, that's like a big step. Like I'm so scared that I do something wrong, and then the dance instructor be like, "Don't do the counts right. Don't do this. You first go this, then like this." And I feel like it's also like not their fault because they just want things to be perfect. Like I know I'm gonna be like that, even though I'm very passive and sometimes a pushover. Whoa, that took a turn. Anyway, is it a pet peeve? It can be a pet peeve, can it? I'm gonna call it a pet peeve because sometimes they can be on nudah. I made the move and then they think it just gets annoying, you know. I hope this isn't today. I really do. Next, last one. Because the other ones I can't really elaborate on liquor. Yeah. So I feel like I've done this. This happens not so often to me, but I've done it myself. When choreographers don't know their own counts. How embarrassing. It doesn't even mean like... Okay, so dancers don't necessarily count. count. We go like ta ta ta. Ha, two, three, four, ha, ha. You know, that's what we do. Don't tell me I'm not counting. I'm counting. This would happen probably when somebody hasn't taught their own class. Or maybe forgetting their own moves. Like imagine you're in a class, dance class. I'm so excited to learn. And then the choreographer like literally don't know even where to start that would be pretty awkward wouldn't it like i don't ah, i'm so sorry for the people who had to experience me teaching a class choreographers that teach you know your accounts okay but also don't listen to me because i am not a professional but get a life but yeah wait is that it that's the end of the video wow if you have come this far wow like i'm proud i feel so quiet now that means you like the video show your love by throwing a thumbs up thanks for watching kids comment your pet peeves um follow me on instagram and tiktok yeah bye